bit. I have a few questions here, a little few talking points that we can talk about. Um, if anyone wants to ask questions in the comments, I'm reading, I can um, see those as well. But the first question is, what is the t tin building and what makes it so special? Um, and I think from it its inception, John George wanted to create a marketplace with best in class food. Uh, something that hasn't been seen before. So we have a full market, a fish market, meat market, uh, vegetable market, and all of the food that we sell is the best that we can get, the best in the world, um, or the most local, the fresh. So the fish market is sourced all locally. Uh, the meat is sourced in the best farms. We have Wagyu, we have the best meat. Um, that we can find and, and the produce market is also sourced from the Union Square Green Market here in New York. It's all local farmers, it's all very fresh, picked at its absolute ripeness because they deliver it directly to us. And we use all of that food in the restaurants that we have here. So in a general in a supermarket in general, you would the fish would sit on the counter until it's um, until it's not good enough to sell. Whereas here, we use that fish the next day in the restaurants, and there's fresh fish displayed in the market. So we're constantly rotating and cycling out products, so we have it as fresh as possible. Um, and that's one really exciting thing about the tin building, is we try to, you know, we're not focused on, on costs and all these things. It's really just about the best that it can be, and then serving it as fresh as possible to the guests. Another thing that's exciting about this place is we have so many different opportunities and, and types of food. So there's six full service restaurants ranging from vegetarian, Italian, French. Uh, we have a fish market, sushi and Chinese. We also have quick service restaurants, which are more over the counter um, or tacos. We've got crepes and dosas. We have cuisines just from all over the world. Um, being executed at the, the peak the best that we can. And that allows us also to bring in candidates with a range of different experiences and start them in positions that they'll be successful. Um, that allows us also to, to grow within the building. We're not looking for you know just the very best. We want anyone that wants to learn, anyone that wants to grow, and we can teach you the skills that you need um, and teach you a variety of different cooking techniques and styles. If you haven't stretched pizza and use a pizza oven, we have that. If you haven't used a wok, we have that. We have uh, a wood fire grill. We have a lot of different methods and, and styles. So whatever fits best, uh, we definitely have an option for, for almost everyone. And that's really exciting for me. What do you think, Cyril? Yeah, absolutely. I think you, you covered pretty much everything, but what we're also looking to do is, and the essence of this call is to identify um, the next generation of culinary individuals, pastry uh, and bakery as well, to foster a culture of growth, uh, a pattern of behavior in which people want to learn uh, the likeness of uh, Chef Jean George and the French Technique Kitchens. Um, and we, we have really everything um, that the students and, and even other culinary individuals that would uh, want to learn um, the different types of techniques, different styles and strategies. Like Chef Steven mentioned, we have um, over 12 locations within the building that you can practice your craft, um, which is something that you don't typically find um, inside of you know any any major city in the world. So we're, we're happy to continue to uh, answer questions. Um, if you have in, in the comment section, we can see them live. So we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about the building, about the you know positions, uh, about the culture. Uh, would be happy to answer so we can continue to, to record. Yeah, for sure. Hi, welcome. Oh, wonderful. Hello, everyone. Thanks for accepting us. Um, I'm here to continue the session. It seems like we're having a bit of a tech issue. My name is Valeria. Yep. I think some of the viewers already know me. I've been a part of uh, different lab sessions for several times, and Claire will work together hand in hand. So uh, I will be assisting her today here. Um, thank you for sharing something else about what you do. It's uh, great to hear that. Would you like? Uh, would you mind please remind our viewers what positions are open and who you recruit for? So, first, we have all the positions open in all the restaurants. Um, we really try to place the right people in the right spots. 
So if someone's looking specifically for a vegetarian location, we can find something for them in that area. Uh, we never, we don't uh, really recruit for positions. We recruit the people and then find the position that fits them within the building uh, based on skills assessments, personalities, um, personal growth um, goals that they have. So we really try to, to fit. Uh, currently, we're hiring in all full-service restaurants and all quick-service restaurants, so we definitely have positions available. Um, again, it's it's based on skills and goals. We can we can make something work. That's great to hear. Fantastic. And can you please describe your perfect candidate? The um, the ideal candidate. Yes. Well, the things that we look for are. 100% attitude, 100% personality. Um, we can train, and I have trained, knife skills, cooking skills, interpersonal skills. There's a ton of things that we can teach, but we can't teach a positive attitude. We can't teach a, um, the willpower to grow, right? You have that, that internal, I want to go somewhere. I want to learn this, and I want to do this. Um, and also adapt, adapting, adapting to different situations, right? It's things change at the restaurant, there's a lot of stress. So someone that's willing to kind of go with the flow with us and 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 uh, isn't so rigid, that's really what we're looking for. But there's, as far as culinary skills, we can train everything from just someone that walks in off the street that wants to cook all the way up to someone that's been cooking for 10 years and wants to hone the craft and really just um, become cleaner, more organized, uh, a little bit more refined, and that's that's what I'm looking for, certainly. Great. Um, can you share some tips and advice for young professionals looking to excel in their country and pastry uh, careers? Absolutely. Uh, the biggest one that I have is don't be afraid to fail. Uh, there's a lot of pressure in kitchens to be perfect and to be right, and burning a fish or overcooking a steak can feel like you just you didn't make it, but you have to do 10,000 or something to be even good at it. So failure is a part of the process. And the faster uh, that we accept that, the easier it is to, to just jump into something, get started, get dirty, and um, and learn. You know, For learning and growth, is it all comes from failure. Um, if we're not... If we're not um, if we're not stumbling and making mistakes and we're already doing something well, then that's not growth. We're just doing something we already know. And the biggest advice that I can have is take chances. Um, we can learn anything. And if you have the, the intention to learn and you want to learn, um, there's someone that's willing to teach you. And if you find them, there's no limit. You can go as far as you want. Such a valid advice. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um... Can you please tell me, what is your favorite part of working with the J1 family? My favorite part? Well, it would be um, the people for me. I, I love the food. I love eating. I got into this because I love eating, and I didn't know what restaurants were or fine dining or chefs. I had no idea. I just I knew that food brought people together, and, and it made people happy. So I got into it, and then it turns out that it's the people that cook the food that make it special. Um, we have a lot of different personalities, a lot of different um, people from all of the world that work here, and they're all wonderful, and, and they have such great, they bring so much to the table. They teach me every day, and they love to learn. And seeing the growth, right, watching someone start with us that is not confident holding a knife or not confident grilling a steak, um, and to watch them learn that skill and grow in their their skill set and also just person you know their um awareness of kitchen life right being a chef isn't just how well can you cook a steak but how well can you communicate with your team and and keep your station clean and maintain your inventory these are all things that um to watch to watch the team learn and take that um take the lessons that we're teaching and watch them grow and watch them, a lot of them become chefs with us. Um, that's the ultimate goal is to take any cook that we have and, and, and keep them, grow them and make everyone a chef in the company. So to see that process happen and to, 
to see the chefs that started with cooks around me and, and, and watch that growth. It's just, there's nothing better than that. I completely agree with you. There's nothing indeed better than ha having somebody fresh starting with you and seeing their progress and how they change and evolve as professionals and maybe stay with you or move something out at somewhere else, but they do remain those professionals and they bring their passion with them and they carry the values that will help them to uh, grow with their, within their own personalities, right? Absolutely. And, and I think also a little bit of it is creating that next generation of, of chefs. There's a, a long, long history of, of people that wear this jacket and a lot of stories of, you know, throwing pepper mills and temper tantrums. And we're, we're very far from that now. And it's, you know, I worked in those kitchens when I was young. So to see an entire building of kitchens with positive attitudes and, and people being respectful of each other and, and really caring about the food and having passion for it, but doing it in a positive way is just such a great feeling because when it, as we travel and people move to different restaurants in different countries, they bring that with them. They bring that attitude, that positivity, and that's really, it's important. Yeah, and when you have that team all together working as a little watch and all of them carry the same principles and they get, have the same passion, that's amazing to watch it, right? It, it really is. And it, it helps because the environment that you cook in is directly represented represented in the food that you're serving so if you have a, a group of people that really enjoy each other and they really enjoy what they're doing the food is going to come out better and there's going to be that little extra touch kits of love in it and the guests can can feel that and it, um, it's, it's, it's special exactly well um, before we wrap up do you have any exciting projects or news from the tin building restaurant by Jean Georges uh, that our candidates should be on the lookout for Currently, we just got through two huge parties that will be all over the internet soon, um, which were a lot of fun to pull off. And we have a few more in the, the, the lineup coming down the road. So it's a lot of fun to be able to, to close the building down and host for, um, for guests and just everything is, is out on the table. Everyone gets to roam around and really experience it. Outside of that, we're, we're ramping up for the holiday season here. Um, We've got Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's coming up, and we'll have some special parties and um, activations for that. Some markets outside. We're going to have uh, chocolate stands and all kinds of um, exciting things to, to bring people in and to, to make everyone feel warm and welcome here at the Tin Building. Um, we really want to to create an environment for, for the guests that come in. It's not just a place to come eat. It's a place to come to come feel at home. Great, exciting. So we will be looking forward to having those videos of the passes and new additions for the upcoming season. But for now, we're moving to our um, Q&A session. Uh, and if you have any questions that you would like to address, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I actually already have seen somebody asking if with the experience of bartender, they would be able to join the team building. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we'd be happy to meet, you know, really everyone in this live stream, every single person, every single candidate. Um, you know, we're we're looking, like Chef Steven says, to foster the next generation of of hospitality industry professionals. So we'd be happy to meet every single person, um, regardless of, of background in terms of culinary, front of house, back of house, management even. Um, we'd be happy to meet every single one of you and have a more one-on-one -on -one, uh, in-depth conversation about what that looks like and you know, day in the life of tin building and uh, what projects we have coming up and how you can support the brand. Awesome. Uh, we have a candidate asking if you have a restaurant have um, plant-based food as well. Yeah, we're in yes, the we do. We're restaurant in right, right now. now. Yeah. Excellent. Perfect timing. Um, in general, I also see questions about candidates how to apply for the positions. Well, for that, please feel free to contact us at info at placement com, and we will be happy to address your questions. Everybody is free to participate. We'll be happy to help everybody here. Um, somebody's asking what the working hours are. 
Yeah, I can I can take that question. The in terms of the working hours, it really depends on on the role. If you're a cook, it's different. If you're a pastry chef, it's different. Um, culinary pastry or front of house. Um, typically, for industry standard for New York City, uh, it's a forty hour work week, which means five days is off with it. Thank you so much for uh, answering this question. Um, there is a candidate asking if it's possible to repeat a J1 program. Uh, with us, everything is pretty much possible. Just reach out to us once again at info at placement-in.com and we'll help out with your query. Um, somebody's curious is they have a guest, in, uh, guest relation and due to manager experience, if that's possible, still to join the team with team building. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, like I mentioned before, we'd ha we are happy to meet you. We have, you know, a building that supports, you know, easily over 700 employees. Um, and we, we are looking, uh, like I mentioned, the, for the next level um, of uh, culinary professionals and hospitality industry professionals. So we're more than happy to meet, sit down virtually, however you'd like to do it, um, and connect on, on what more specifically you're looking for, what we have available, and what we will have available within the next six to eight months. So if it's not uh, sort of a position that we have available currently, um, still more than happy to have that conversation. Great, and what are the start dates that you're looking to start with candidates? Yeah, uh, a start dates is as soon as possible, uh, depending on, you know, how we how we work in terms of uh, with Policeman International and we have worked incredibly well. Myself and Claire have worked more personally on, on this project, but um, uh, as soon as possible, we're looking for people to start uh, as soon as they can. As soon as they get into New York City, we'd be happy to have them. Great. Now, I'm sure Claire will send you a great profile, but it's like right away. Wow. As always. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today and providing us with a glimpse into the world of the tin building restaurant by John Moore. And for all of our amazing viewers, remember that opportunities like the one we discussed today are just around the corner. The, to sign up and explore culinary and pastry positions at tin building, simply visit our social media channels or send us an email uh, to info at placement .com. Don't miss our fantastic opportunity. It's our pleasure uh, to be start. here. Yeah, Thank you so much for having us. We have the entire executive team here. Welcome. I would like to welcome you if you want to come work. There's the great fun people that you'll be working with. Wonderful. Hey, everyone. Nice to see everybody. Well, thank you so, so I'm going to head much. back to this. It was great talking to you all. Great. Thank you so much for having us. Have a lovely day ahead.